only wash my hair and my face. <laughs> who's gonna say it? I can. Paper, rock, scissors. But I feel like we're doing the blessing. Like, who's gonna say it? I will. One, two, three, shoot. Oh. Hey y'all, welcome back What's to up? the vlogcast. We're here with another debt update. Happy June. Happy June. It is June. Like, what happened? Mayday, Mayday, May. That is just crazy. May, May went way on it's out like of here. It's like the quarantine days are long, but then they go, it, all of a sudden it's a new month. So, we have some <sighs> updates for you. I feel like we say this all the time, but it's a process of kind of getting into a, a groove. So, I feel like we're even more kind of trying to get into a groove and being able to do these videos more confidently with the kids at home. Yes. We do have some more budget stuff coming your way. Fear not, we are still budgeting. We're still working on paying off debt. It's all, we wanna give you an update. on June budget is coming up. Done. Yes, the June budget is coming up. We never did share our May budget. It was kind of crazy. Like it was just, it was a weird, it, it, in these very unprecedented times, <laughs> <laughs> as every email you've probably gotten recently started starts, it, it was just kind of weird. And it just never, it just never, we made a budget. Never make, got a video made about it. So we're gonna do a June budget, and then we will do a video. Actually, I've already done the June budget. We'll make a video about the June yes. budget. And then there is a video that will be coming about comparing like what we budgeted in May and whether we stuck to it. It was it was a weird and month. And then the we comparison, a little uh, bit. the monthly comparison, monthly video. comparison coming up. I'm pretty sure we just sat down and made that video, yeah, but we're about to like make it. another one where we compare our spending for this May with spending from last May and actually the May before that. As I was doing the June budget, I was looking through some of June last year. Like I like to look through and make sure there's no yearly charges that are coming up. And there were definitely, it was definitely the time period where all of a sudden, like, we overdrew our account multiple times really? in last June. Ooh, I last, can't wait. Last June, because it, that's when things started getting, like, really hairy. And when we get done filming this video, we're gonna go stock up for the month, so maybe a grocery haul maybe coming grocery up soon. Haul, yes. Got yes. like three or four videos in the mix, maybe this week. And if you missed the last video, um, two videos ago, I did a video by myself on kind of how to get started. Thank gosh. <laughs> You didn't have to sit through yes. it. I was like, I'll do this one by myself. <laughs> um, but a lot of people comment and say, I just feel overwhelmed by the whole thing and I don't know where to get started. And a lot of the budgeting videos you'll watch will be like, oh, well this is how much you should spend on this and groceries and, but I went back to like the whole, the the basic, like where do you even start when you're like, I don't even know anything about how to log into my bank account. Mm -hmm. Anyways, check that out if you're interested in that. Anything else for the mm. business meeting before we get started on I'm this video? on a toenail. Oh. I'm just being honest with you. I didn't bite it. I clipped it and just put it in my mouth. My feet are clean. You remember that saying, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to tell them that. It's okay. Um, that's fine. That's you. You just do you, boo. Okay. Um, I don't anyway, think anything else to say. At, least, at least you didn't clip them on camera. Now you're just chewing on it on camera. So, um, okay. So we want to give y'all an update. We had said from the beginning, um, we want to tell you how much debt we want to, we paid off mm -hmm. since we started. We started this in January, and at the beginning of quarantine, we said we had decided we were going to put any extra money that would have previously gone towards the snowball into savings because there's a lot of unknowns right now for everybody. Mm -hmm. Job for us, our house situation is still kind of. We're not exactly sure That's what's going to happen there. Potentially coming up. It would be later. a great video of I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of uncertainty, and then a lot of people that had said, "Well, y'all still do YouTube. You can still make videos. You can still make money." Well, advertisers back out of sponsoring videos or of putting their ads on YouTube because they don't have the revenue coming in due to COVID and everything. So our income has been cut and we have definitely been impacted by it yeah. financially. However, we've, I don't know, it's, there's been some positives to it too, and we definitely wanted to save as much as we could in the process. Right, right. So with that being said, we did pay off more this past month in the debt snowball than we intended to. Um, it's really hard to just let That's it sit in savings. No, it is a yeah. good thing. No, it's a good thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying we kind of, changed our minds a little bit on putting everything in savings. We kind of assessed what we were putting in savings and making sure that once all this is over, should there be a reason that everything isn't bouncing back as far as economy was, YouTube um, mm -hmm. advertising was and all that, for us to be able to continue to pay our mortgage. Like we wanted to make sure we had a few extra months even set aside yeah. after that. The exciting part is since the beginning of this in 
January, February, March, April, May, four months, we have paid off $25,000. And if you want to get specific, $25,335.28. So the first month. That's 25% of our total debt. Our, our total debt was $100,362.71. So I got to color in this little chart here and there's a time lapse going right now that you can see me coloring in but the whole first row or the bottom row is completely covered level there's one still a lot of levels to go here but that's freaking awesome level one done and when we show these charts we always get a lot of questions where we got them from um it's from debtfreecharts.com and she does some really cute, awesome charts, and the majority of them are free. Like you can just go download them for free. That's what we got. But so the first month we went, we hit it hard, and we paid off seventeen thousand. Almost eighteen thousand. We were three dollars shy of eighteen thousand dollars. We were like dollars. pushing though. We, we were... sold everything but the house and the kids. Yeah, we and tried then... to sell the house, but I didn't have. <laughs> and then uh, second month was in February nineteen hundred. Third month was seventeen, almost eighteen hundred, and then this month was three thousand six hundred and seventy six dollars and two cents you got to count this two cents some of that along the way has been we follow the Dave Ramsey method of doing the snowball so on our largest debts we're currently paying minimums and then trying to pay off the smaller ones we had how many things did we have on our list Neil's little small sip of water before water that. Break. <laughs> we had 12 items on our list of our snowball and we have currently paid off six of those. So that's half of our that's like crazy. items paid off. Now the last two are a huge chunk of the debt all by themselves, but six of them. There was actually footage that we recorded in paying off some of this where we oh, tried yeah. to call the, the a debt collector oh, yeah. we had them calling us they called literally every day you had heard in the comments or i think we had read in the comments that you can even dave ramsey says you can like say this is the amount i have take it or leave it and we can be done today to kind of get it so it was a one of our smaller ones it was 761 dollars and so we were like, what if we call and just say like, we'll pay you $600 today if we can just be done with it. It, it was, it, I, I'll insert some of that footage. Hi, you an important message. This is a call from a debt collector. Again, please contact me when you receive this message. And now they're not even. Look, Derek, you don't call me every day and then you're not going to answer. We got your money. I don't know if we're not confident enough or if it's like the time we went to Costco and tried to talk them down on the TV <laughs> and they're like, no, we're Costco, we don't do that. We appreciate your call and must apologize that we are experiencing high call volume. Please continue to hold and our first available employee will be with you. I hate oh. The music. <laughs> Look, we can't complain. It's our fault that they're, we're even having to call them, not theirs. So is that like... That reminds me, I called to cancel my um, emails. I did call and cancel oh, the other good. day. They won't let you cancel it online. I'm trying to tell <laughs> I called to cancel it because that's the only way you can cancel is to call and talk to somebody. And I was on hold for 10 minutes. That's 15 extra dollars every three months. Not that it was a huge expense. I just wasn't using it anymore. It's a great service though. Mm -hmm. I just wasn't using it and we're cutting back, so. Hey, this is uh, Cullen. I was returning a call for Derek. Lebowski, Le, or Derek, somebody. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but um, if you could just give me a call back, I wanted to try to get more information on all this. Oh, it's such... <laughs> Why didn't you just say Derek? Because <laughs> I wanted to make sure. You, what if there's more than one Derek? They gonna call you back anyway. Derek probably knows. This is probably a company of like three people or something, and they're True. just in the bathroom right now. True. Yeah, I don't know, like, I, I would love to be a fly on the wall listening to, like, Dave Ramsey do it or something. Like, somebody that's just, like, every time I said something, he had, like, the rebuttal was, I don't know what to say now, or I can't argue with that. Communication is from a debt collector. This is an attempt to collect the debt and any time. information. Thank you for calling. The call may be monitored or recorded. This is Stephanie speaking. How can I help you? Hey, Stephanie. I was returning a call for Derek. Okay, what was your name? And I am just required to let you know real quick. This communication is with a debt collector attempting to collect a debt. That any information obtained would be used for that purpose. And the call may be monitored or recorded. And hold on one moment. I'll get you transferred over. Okay, thanks. It is being recorded. Yeah, I should be like, uh... We're making a video about getting out of debt. That's fine, we're recording you too. 
So, I just need to let you know that this video is being monitored and recorded. Hi, hey, thank you for holding. This is Jared. This is uh, Colin? Yes, this is. Uh, well, I appreciate you calling back. I was trying to reach you in regards to uh, an account that was turned over to us a little while ago. Uh, they're showing a balance of uh, $784.28. So, I wanted to touch base with you and see if it was something we could help you get results, sir. Okay, um, yes. Okay, is this something you needed uh, some additional time or to split it up into a few payments to help out? or? Um, if I could pay six hundred today, I could do that and be, be paid all off. If you'll accept that and be done with it, we can settle it for six hundred. Six hundred? Yeah. Let, let me see here. Um, okay, so you know they didn't authorize us to take any sort of settlement on this count. They are asking us to, to pursue the entire financial obligation. I mean, there was twenty-two dollars and seventy-eight cents of interest that accrued on it. I, I would be able to remove that for you, but the uh, original balance they turned over was seven hundred sixty-one dollars and fifty cents. I mean, we wouldn't be able to accept anything less than that. But if you're able to pay like six hundred today, I can schedule the the remaining one sixty-one fifty for like a month out from now or something along those lines. If that helps. There's no other way just to be done with it. At a no, there's, there's no settlement. So I mean, we could either work out a, a payment plan or split up into a couple payments. Or but the seven sixty one fifty is uh, is what they're asking us to, to collect. Okay, sorry, just trying to figure out, looking at everything. Yeah, no problem. And just so you know, uh, Colin. So how it works is we process all of our payments first thing in the morning in a batch all together. So we did process today's payments already. So they won't go. Even if you make a payment for today, it's not going to go through till first thing Monday morning. Okay. I just want to make sure you knew that in case you had to like change, uh, move funds around from gotcha. an account to a different account or something. Yeah, yeah. That's the only option. You can't go in. They can't go any lower at all, even though there's no, no, unfortunately not. Seven sixty one fifty. Okay. So you want to do six hundred uh, today and then schedule the one sixty one fifty for. A different day? Well, I just want to be done with it. Monday. Since it's not going through till Monday, I'll move some stuff around. But so yeah, I'll just go ahead and give you a uh, number and be done with it. All right, there we go. Well, let's pay it off. Let's pay it off. There, there we go. Budge. I don't know how to do that. Okay, so we got another one. We're gonna try to pay off here. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Uh, sorry if I'm bothering you. Or if you're busy, I just wanted to call in. Pay off a little bit more. See what I could do. What I want to double check the total amount. One thousand two eighty seventy five. Yeah, let me go ahead and just pay that off. All right, perfect. That went through. I'll send you an email, and it'll say paid in full. There's another one. There we go. Another one bites the dust. High fives. <laughs> I'm on the floor. <laughs> Plus, I already feel bad because it's debt that we've occurred. We owed it. Uh, we owed it anyway. Anyway, but. Accrued. Well, it's interesting though because it's along this process. I think we've mentioned a couple of times there's random bills that have come in that we're like, crap, I forgot about that, that we owed this. So I got some random medical bill the other day from Brooks that had had like a chest x ray when he had croup and it was for $118. And it was in 2017. I will say, I'm pretty sure they've sent me this bill several times. <laughs> and it's just one of those that it's like not top of the priority list and it gets in the stack of mail and then it just doesn't get paid. I know it was a legit bill, but the bill came and it said like, this is from a debt collector and the amount you owe is $118, but we have been given permission to settle it for $70. So you can just pay $70 and it'll be done. So I didn't even have to ask. It was they did there. that. Yeah. Granted, it was from 2017, and it was medical debt. I feel like they're more likely to do it with that. Well, and it wasn't like five thousand dollars or seven thousand dollars. It was a hundred dollars. You know, I mean. Yeah, but I guess usually with the lower amounts, they're yeah. like, no, just pay us a hundred dollars. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, obviously that happens. It's not like a made-up thing that it does. But maybe you didn't owe it for long enough. Maybe you have to be like two <laughs> years behind on it. We should just held out a little longer. We were glad to get that one off of our plate. So the way we did that with this being in quarantine is we were unsure when it started if our kids would be going back to school um, if they wouldn't and so that has been 
a large amount of money that we have still had left over is the amount that we typically pay for childcare. So a portion of that went to it. And then obviously there's been other things during quarantine that we aren't, haven't been doing or haven't had to pay for that we were previously. There's also, I mentioned in a video from the very beginning about paying off debt, how my parents have always had like a savings account that they set aside for me and every year put a little bit of money into that. And that's just something they've done for my whole life. And so that is something that it was time for them to do that this year and so my dad Super was like <laughs> yeah my dad was like hey it's time for us to do this i usually just deposit it in that account for you but i'm gonna just go ahead and give it to y'all i know this is a because weird of time the uncertainty like with yeah. the virus the coronavirus and everything and um so i'm just gonna go ahead and give it to you instead of putting it in that account and i mean it would have been in that account anyway so we used a portion of that but we saved some of that as well that's how we were able to pay off this month two thousand dollars more than usual yeah. with yeah. the extra child care money with that money and then just us pinching some other corners uh, oh and then you made a sale you uh, sold a couple more things on, on facebook. facebook marketplace yeah it's non-stop still getting messages i did have to take one of the things down because i started using it the little speaker that the, <laughs> so ever since we've been outside more had music playing so i'm like i don't want to sell this I anymore i'll actually keep this i like we're this actually using lot. it yeah but one of the things that you did sell was a good like it was a 250 dollar item that mm -hmm. you sold and so we used a portion of that to put into our sinking funds because Brooks's birthday is in July. It's and so comforting. We had only put aside like 20 or $30 with all of this going on for birthday, like sinking fund. Mm -hmm. And so we said, let's go ahead and put 200 of that into his birthday envelopes. So. What's nice too yeah. now is taking the amount that we're paying on one of those previous debts that we obviously paid off now and we're just rolling that same amount so for example we were paying five hundred dollars a month towards one of the debts we owed so there's a few things that we owe that don't necessarily have like interest uh, interest and a minimum payment and that kind of thing like people who have done work on our house or different things like that and so cart motor. it was just a bill that we owed and so if we're paying say five hundred dollars a month on the smallest one and then we're paying fifty dollars a month on the ones above that then now we can throw $550 at that next one up on the list. And then after we pay that one off, we can throw $600 towards the next one every month instead of the $50 it's that we're going to so, it's, it's getting bigger. It's exciting and it's good to look at. And if we could keep up at this speed, we would be done in a year. If uh, we could pay no. off $25,000 every four months, no, almost a year. A year. We can't year. beat that first like January that. month, I don't think. Like that was We just... sold our biggest items <laughs> yeah the golf cart and the trailer and all that like that was huge I think um, the only way we could beat that month is if we were to sell our house and, and or our car equity. well if we were to make money on our make house which it, yeah. previously that wasn't an option so. <sighs> so that's another topic of conversation we also have our um updated credit card debt I'll they're not very exciting to look at in two more little little tiny lines on that these yeah. are our biggest ones but it will be really exciting when we get rolling those into the snowball this is the one i like to look at that's where we stand Twenty-five thousand, and don't forget, there's also uh, shirts. We opened up all the shirts. Oh yeah, we talked about that too. Yeah, I have exciting news because we talked about the t-shirts being available. All of our old school t-shirts that we've ever so sold, they're back. except they would not. I couldn't relaunch the old school dank is junk and catch on the flip side shirts, which was our very first merch we ever sold because she said it was such an old listing. It was 2014. It was like not up to date with their system so they it just like cut it off but she sent me the files so i'm oh, going to be able sweet. to put them back up nice so i need to do that after this video so you can get any of our shirts and we mentioned pop sockets fanny pack and uh like those are not there, up like, yet gold? like yes um, so there's like, also we're gonna be putting some foil print foil print which sounds weird but it's like the shiny they, shiny they, print they know so all these cute. women out here know i know, foil prints I, know. I told you and you're like foil on your shirt <laughs> but so we should be having some of those we're we're gonna transfer even just some of our existing styles into the foil print, like the summer vibes. I think that'd be really With cute. The, the, the sunshine being all shiny. Ooh. Yes, yes. So Ooh. cool stuff to come. Um, with everything going on right now, we have not been able to put out a complete new design yet. 
but we're working on the old stuff and just trying to keep our ish together. Go check out the links below and uh, see y'all in okay. the next video. We got some coming out. Stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe and we will see what we do with us. Catch you on the day. Bye. Bye. This is what we look like when we are filming. We talked about that yesterday after we got done filming. We are like, what if somebody came over to our house and we're like, hey, come here, we gotta uh, have an interview with you. Come sit on our bedroom floor in front of our bed, <laughs> in front of a tripod, how weird YouTubers are. There's our crap all over the floor. But anybody watching the video is not like, why are you sitting on the floor in front of your bed? <laughs> like, it's just kind of a normal YouTube video thing. Now, they'll quit calling us. Right, Jesus. And we are getting there one step closer. Yes. On the way, on the way.